Hi there and welcome at Elgon World. In this episode I want to show you the polishing process of aluminium parts. And if you own an RC car which has mainly plastic parts you can skip this video. But I know that our lots of drivers are upgrading their plastic parts with aluminium. So I think it is interested for almost every RC driver. Um, I have Published some pictures on the Facebook page of Elcon World with this result, and it looks like you're all interested in how I achieved this uh, this shiny car. And it it wasn't shiny at all. It was so dirty after some competition races in in sand and dirt. And it, now it is better than it was new. Um, I still have to do one piece, and that's still attached on the engine. Um, the engine plate so I will remove this and give it a tr polishing and treatment so you all can see how I uh, did this so put on the safety glasses it's not sunglasses not 3d glasses but pure for safety from all the shininess of this car just to protect my eyes so let's get into this video So, I'm busy uh, to remove the engine plate from the engine, so I have some time to explain something more about the products I have used. And this is actually the biggest secret. Uh, it's made by Belgium. Uh, it's actually an uh, aluminium polisher. Um, and uh, it isn't a cheap uh, bottle, but it has 250 milliliters inside, so you, yeah, well, you can use it for a long, long time. So this is the highly advised product for this video. I will put a link in the description uh, below. And I used uh, also uh, the good old Dremel to create the perfect finish. Uh, the Dremel do have the uh, polishing field on top. Uh, and well, my experience is that both of the of the products, the Belgium with the Dremel, uh, was giving me the best result. And for the most extreme parts, the dirty parts, I also used the polishing compound uh, by Dremel. Um, so I will show you this uh, now. A few moments later. Okay, the engine plate is polished and back on the engine. Uh, as in all other how-to videos from Elcom World, I have one last tip. And it's actually called the Pro Tip. Pro Tip. And uh, the tip is use three racks. Uh, I only used one uh, because this was a clean one. Uh, and why three? Uh, if you have multiple parts, uh, to polish uh, it will become very dirt so one to add the polish uh, compound on the part the second to smear uh, the polisher into the aluminium and that's the part all the uh, black residue uh, comes off and the last one is to get it amazing shiny finish so uh, well if you like this video uh, don't forget to hit that uh, like button and when you uh, will be notified in the future about our videos and it could be racing videos event videos or how-to videos like this uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button uh, for now thanks for watching and well see you soon